Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. I want to ask you about Cooper Flag. Um, he took his visit to UConn this weekend. He's got a, a visit coming up to Duke. Uh, he's got a visit coming up to Kansas. We all saw him uh, have historically good games at Peach Jam over the summer. Um, I think the expectation is most people think he's going to go play for his uh, big brother, John Shire at Duke. Uh, I think that that is probably where this thing is is trending towards. I think that UConn and Kansas have uh, as much of a puncher's chance as I do at getting on the roster at an ACC program at this point. Um, but how, Tio, I want to start with you on this. How how good is he? Because I go, I go <laughs> back and forth on the impact that that he can have offensively and the role that he played. Like, I'm just I, – I, I struggle going between, okay, I don't see how this translates because we've never really seen a dude that does this stuff before. And, like, does that matter because guys that do stuff we've never seen before tend to be the best players um, because no one else can match it. You know what I'm saying? The ladder. Like we're, yeah, the ladder. It's the ladder. The ladder. He covers so much ground so quickly. Like, it's it's unbelievable, really. And he does it with a ball in his hands, and he does it on the help side. Dude blocks everything. That's kind of the crazy part about it is like he, he just covers so much ground on both ends of the floor and he can space the floor because he's a quality shooter and he's a terrific passer. And he it, it was crazy. He played with his main United team and there are some good players on that team. But let's not kid ourselves into thinking like it was the same as the Knight Riders where they'd have six high major plus players like he had a bunch of pretty good players, pretty good high school players on his team. And they were beating the snot out of teams just because he manipulates everything on the court. Uh, he's special. He's uh, Andre Karolinko defensively and offensively. We'll just, I, I don't know where to put him. Like that's the crazy part about the whole thing. I do wish he would have played 17s. I do wish he would have played 17s because I think his ability to change pace was just so special compared to that 16 I feel like I, I would have been much more intrigued to see him play against some of those top dogs at the 17U level. Who he is defensively is fantastic. Uh, and and perhaps that's also why you play against the 17s. It, it, I wish you would have, because we could have seen him at that level against those players. But, but it wouldn't. The have. problem is they would have lost every game by 40. Like he wasn't going to leave the program that he was with. Like the reason why Maine United had a. Uh, a deal with Nike is be, it, it's not like the Night Riders where there's like 14, 15, 16, 17, yeah. right? Like there's Cooper Flag's team. And yeah. like you said, T.O., they have a bunch of like good 16U players. Yeah. Um, on and, that and guys that have been offered by A10 programs and like, right, right. yeah, good like players. they're, they're, they're good players. Bad. Yeah. His they're, brother Ace ain't bad. I mean, there's no question. His brother but, Ace. Well, yeah, like his, his brother is probably like a, an A10 level player. And the rest of the guys on that roster are probably like, America East, like they're really good basketball players, but but when you're seventeen, I'm like, yeah, you're you playing have teams up in seventeen to power five guys there. You're they're gonna get fucking rolled, and yeah, um, so I get why he did it. He didn't want to like he did it for his his teammates, right? Like I get it. So we can judge off what we saw and what we've seen, and what we can say is, or what I think we could say, jump in if you disagree. Incredible defensively. The amount of ground he covers as a rim protector is insane. Insane. That 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 impresses me more than anything. And the ability to do it from the wing position, too. From the wing position. Yeah. But how about the want to, Terrence? His team's up by 30, and he just he just goes. Mm. Unlimited motor. Comes off as a relentless competitor. Relentless competitor. And on the offensive side, I know there's concerns about, about the perimeter shot. I think that there's areas for that to just keep growing. He he showed he could make threes. He made some, and we saw him make them. You know, it, it doesn't need some work. Yeah, what what kid his age doesn't need some work on that? He could drive the ball relentlessly. He's got feel. He's got feel when he takes the ball off the dribble into the lane. Cooper Fly doesn't just I'm going to go pull in a china shop and just buy you. No, he understands the nature of the game. He understands how to make plays for his teammates. He understands how to make everybody around him better. And even though somebody's matched up against him on the other side, or two players were, at his level that he was playing at, he made all five players on the other team afraid of what he was capable of. Mm -hmm. That guy, I want that guy on my team. 
anybody that's criticizing, you're only criticizing because you're just choosing to be a hater. If I you want to, if you want to question him being unbelievable, that the hype train that he's got is a little bit more than what it'll end up being, I'm not going to sit here and deny that. But I think he is an absolutely outstanding prospect. Yeah, I, I'm. I totally agree. The my point was more that I wonder. And defensively, like there's no issues. I just I see that translating very, very well at every level he goes up to. Big news. The Almanac is officially back. The most exhaustive and comprehensive guide to the 2023-24 college basketball season is available for pre-order now. If you go to cbbalmanac.com, link is in the description below, you can pre-order for just $15.99 or 20% off the sticker price. The format is going to be a little bit different this season. Instead of an 850 page PDF, you'll be getting access to the full site with league by league PDFs available for download. The preview will be live on September 20th. So you have until then to be able to get your pre-orders in. So for insight for all 362 division one teams from their head coaches and the experts that cover them, make sure you hit that link. My concern is more like offensively, will the stuff that he wants to do, like pound the ball into the floor, try to isolate people like he doesn't have a great handle. You know what I mean? He doesn't have a great shot. He kind of gets by because he's so much better than everybody else. He draws like five defenders. And maybe that's what will happen as he moves up levels as well. Um, And maybe he'll just improve on the ball handling side of it. I just I wonder how that translates. And it could also be a thing where like, where did you get where did you get the not a good ball handler thing? Just out of curiosity. Is it because he dribbles so high? Yeah, and he's not like what, what you're going to do against him defensively is you're going to put like someone that's like six six and tough and physical and to let them climb underneath him, and he doesn't have the kind of handle to be able to um, to go around people like that yet. And now he could get there. Like I I'm disagree. Not I'm not saying that he won't. But uh, I love I think, you. I love you, Rob. I disagree. All right. Well, I mean, his, his strategy. I don't, here's so what, here's what I'm saying. Like, a, I don't even know if that's if what I'm saying is true, but it's something where it's not. He, we haven't seen him. We haven't seen a guy like him. So I guess my biggest thing is like, is and I, uh, he just covers to... so much ground and like all the, all the yes. coach it, say that is a concern and I it, it's, say it is and it's not one of mine but it is for you so we'll just talk about it. But like his ability to cover so much ground in two dribbles is is equally unique. Incredible. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So what what I come down to is like and he's sure. Yeah, and and so what I what I basically come down to is like okay, so I have these questions about what the fit will be as he moves up levels. Can he still play the same way? Well, mm-hmm. we had a lot of those same questions about like, will that work for Zion, right? And it's just we've never seen somebody like what Cooper Fly can do. So maybe it's just he is that awesome, and it's going to continue to translate that way. Mm-hmm. And I think at he the just end floats. of the day, yeah, like when the work when, the thing. when your he, worst case scenario as a player, let's say that like everything offensively just doesn't work as he gets better. If your worst case scenario is Andre Kirilenko as a player defensively, like you're an unbelievable prospect. Yes, and right? here's the thing. unbelievable here's, prospect. It, when 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 everybody zigs, there's going to be a sector of people who want to zag. So before this kid plays a college game, there's going to be people saying he ain't going to live up to the hype. You know why? They want traffic. And they know what drives, right? The point is, I'm going to say this. This is beautiful for college basketball. Mm -hmm. Regardless of where he goes. And and Duke is the front runner and and could very well be the choice. Uh, We'll let the kid make his decision. Really cool, really cool main photo with him and Donovan Klingon, though. Well, that's so the people that don't know the backstory there is Donovan Klingon's mom passed away. Um, It was was cancer, right, Fanna? cancer yeah died from cancer um about three years ago now and he was really really close to his mom and it 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 it, he didn't handle it great as any high school kid that loses their mother would um and his mom was teammates with cooper flag's mom uh at the university of maine i think they're both in the in maine's women's basketball hall of fame and he got a picture with cooper flag on his recruiting visit to uconn wearing their mom's jerseys which is something that I don't know if it, it, I know it meant a lot to Donovan Klingon, and I'm sure it meant something pretty special to Cooper Flag. That was, it that was been, just it would have awesome been cooler if they actually played at Maine. <laughs> yeah, but, hey, look, you know what? Leave leave my boy DC there. All right, we got he's <laughs> he he stayed home. All right, Cooper Flag can stay home. Go to Maine. DC stayed hey. home. <laughs> hey, we hey. need Kling Kong in Connecticut, baby. And I can't wait to see what he does this upcoming year. But I'll tell you what, this is 
this is really we got great. You know, I know that people had their complaints at Peach Jam about the uh, 17s and whatnot. But you know what? By the end of Peach Jam, we were sitting there saying, man, having Cooper Flag, having the Boozers, having A.J. DeBansa. I mean, A.J. DeBansa is All right. a- oh, give me, Make your pick right now. Best player best best player oh. versus best prospect for A.J. DeBansa, Cameron Boozer, and Cooper Flag. I'm going to you first, Fanta. Oh, man. You want me to go first? You know, no, I, 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 and I call I, seriously, I called 20, 22 Peach Jam games. So I saw all three a lot. I'm going to Bansa. I'm going to Bansa. I just love his all around skill set. I, I just love him. I love his game. I love his maturity. I think he, for a kid his age to talk the way he did, well, I was so impressed. But guys, just the total toolbox explosiveness, athleticism, versatility, can guard, can drive, rises above the rim at his age. Can shot make? I love AJ Debansa. I would I would go Debansa one, flag two, boozer three. That's me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the reason being is Cooper Flag's an incredible athlete and rangy and moves. Shot creation, man. Long term potential and shot creation. AJ Debansa is special. And special. Th- th- this is gonna I haven't seen many players of my generation oh. and forward move like him at yeah. six eight at a buck ninety five. There's only been one that I've seen really move like a cat. There's only been one, and I'm not saying it. I'm say, not no, saying say it. it. I won't say it. I won't I say it because I'm ca- I'll catch all kinds of hell. But it, he no, moves no, no. and changes. He doesn't he just change direction, guys. He changes direction with power. Yes. And like a lot of times with like a kid Euro stepping or something, you think like if he Euro steps and he's able to change direction a little bit, like you're like, man, that kid's got a strong lower body. The Bansa changes direction with absolute force. And like there's not many people that are capable of doing that. There's and he, he can like do Michael all that Jordan stuff. Did. He moves and like Michael. He moves like Michael Jordan. He yes. moves like Michael Jordan. He can do all that stuff. And he's six foot eight. And oh, by the way, like he's also one of the best shot makers in his class. Like he can create space. He's got the step backs. He is a he's not just a guy that can make shots. Like he is a really good shooter. He's yeah. he's he's special. I think if you have to give me one, I'm taking AJ Devansa. I think Cooper had Cooper Flag has the highest upside if it all comes together for him. I also think Cooper Flag um, has the lowest floor if the offensive stuff doesn't come around. Free. And yeah, and I think Cameron Boozer is like the safest bet. I think you just kind of like, you know what Cameron Boozer is going to end up being We're, we've seen like the transition that a guy like Paolo has had going to the NBA and how, well Oh no, 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 no. He's not Paolo, but no, no, I'm not saying he's Paolo, but I'm saying okay. like, we've seen what he does in that role and, and how that works at the NBA level. I just think Cameron Boozer, you know, like you, know you can kind of best comparison is, who? Cam, you know, who Cam Boozer, it's Carlos. That's his best comparison. <laughs> <laughs> he's been, hey, what, Carlos made what two, three, four hey. All Star games. Yes, yeah, but he he, also, his, he could also shoot. Like all I'm saying with Cam Boozer is like you could just kind of slot him into being a guy that averages 18 and nine of the NBA and shoots 34 percent from three, and you just kind of like know what he's going. Felt end. gross. That hey. felt gross when you said that. That felt Listen. gross. Too much. Too high. It felt yeah. It felt too high. Listen, uh, those three are, are we could talk about them until the sun comes up. I will say this: we're about to. Okay. Caden is this podcast forever. <laughs> Boozer is better than people are saying. He is very good. Yep. Very good player. All right. So so we picked Cooper Flag versus uh Cameron Boozer. What about uh Ace Flag versus Caden Boozer? Oh god. Caden. Caden's Kaden. Kaden. a good yeah. player. Give me Caden too. Give me now, Kaden now Kaden is a good Kaden. good four year guard. Caden's now. a really, really good four year guard. Thank you for watching The Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.